Um, hello, everyone. Um, nice to be here. It's amazing uh, what the guys have pulled off in the organization. Uh, so my name is Francesco. I'm uh, one of the founders of Superfluid, and I'm going to talk to you about streams that we think are a new primitive for crypto, for DeFi, and for money, or in general. So what is a primitive? A primitive is a basic piece of functionality which enables us to do other things with it, right? It might be useful in itself, but it's definitely useful in combination with other things. And in crypto, in DeFi, we always talk about composability, we always talk about building blocks, about money Legos, we're always talking about the same thing, combining different products to create new ones. Now, some are what, what are some of the primitives of money? Well, the first one that uh, created most of what we know now in DeFi is the token, right? So creating a token. And when you create a token, you basically define a name, a supply, and that's it. That's your token, right? And this has enabled us to create uh, units of value that are the basis of everything else we've done. The balance, the balance is the basic functionality of tokens that tells you how much you have, right? How much does a user have? And the transfer. Now the transfer is the way we are used to experiencing money. It's the, the basic way that we've always interacted with money. So you're moving an amount from one account to another, right? In a specific moment in time. And we call these transactions, right? Often people even use it interchangeably. Trans transaction and transfer often are used inter interchangeably. But that's actually not the case, right? You can make a transaction in DeFi without making a transfer. Now, what do we use one-off values, uh, value transfers for? So to buy products, to donate, pay someone, invest. And then in DeFi, by incorporating this into other um, primitives, we've also created a bunch of stuff, right? We have oracles, time, we have transfers, we have smart contracts that can hold a balance. And by doing this, the, the first basic thing we did was create a smart contract that can hold a balance and transfer money out, right? We call these vaults. They're, you know, multi-sigs. And if you're in Bitcoin, that's it. In, crypt, in DeFi, you know, in Ethereum, you can build more complex logic into those vaults and create everything else we know, right? But a vault at this basic level is just a contract that holds funds and transfers funds out or receives funds and does things with those funds. So we've built all these things in DeFi and obviously this is not an exhaustive list. There's a million other things we've built by combining these things. But why not try, instead of combining these existing primitives, to add a new one? So what we're doing with Superfluid is we're trying to increase the number of primitives, the number of things you can do with money itself. We're not trying to build on top of money. We're trying to build more into the token contract. So what does this look like? Well, it's the stream function. So at its extremely basic level, when you're obviously when you're building a primitive, you want it to be generic. You want it to be um, unopinionated, right? So what could stream look like? Well stream to someone and stream a certain quantity, right? A certain amount every second. So that's exactly how it looks in Superfluid. Other protocols have defined uh, more complex things, right? Maybe there's a duration, maybe there's an end date. In Superfluid, we kept things simple. We want a, a protocol that's generic and can be built on top. Of. So what, is, what are streams? Well, streams are an open-ended way of transferring funds from one account to another over time. So money is going from your account to another every second. The streams are fully liquid. What does this mean? Well, this means as you receive the funds every second, you're able to spend them. Those are your funds. They're fully liquid. They're not locked somewhere. It's in your balance. And you can collateralize as you go, which means you don't have to deposit funds up front. You can literally spend your money as you receive it because it's fully liquid. And streams are interesting because they're the most fair way of paying for time. If I'm buying your time because you work for me and I decide to pay you at the end of the month, that means you're working for free with the promise that I will pay you at the end of the month, right? If I decide to pay you at the beginning, I'm paying you with the promise that you will work for a month. Now, with money streams, that disappears because I'm paying you for every unit of time that you provide to me. And this is the fairest way to pay for services, uh, for employment, and for a bunch of other things. 
And of course, there's no delays. You get paid every second. It can't be late, right? The blockchain is never late. It never faults. You get paid every second, which means you don't have any risks. And of course, we do it. We do it with no intermediaries. You know, it's it's a DeFi project, so you have an extra superpower for your money. Now, the simplest things you can do with uh, ongoing payments, right, which are different to the recurring payments we've got used to, are subscriptions, salaries, DAO to DAO payments, B two B payments, DAO to uh, user payments, all sorts of different ongoing payments, right. And obviously, we're used to doing these once a month in the U.S. every two weeks. But that's just because that's what we could do, right? There's no reason that paying once a month is the way to pay salaries. It's simply what we got stuck with, right? You should get paid every second you work. So what can you do when you start using streams in combination with those other uh, primitives that we were describing? Well, you can build a hell of a lot of things. So... First of all, one thing I want to explain about Superfluid and about uh, how salaries and streams work is that you can really send money as you receive it. Now, this is something I don't think you could really do before with other protocols, but here you have a continuous income and you can continuously spend that on your expenses, your rent, uh, but you could even invest part of that into money markets or other things. As you receive the funds, you can transfer them. And I'm not talking once a month. I'm talking every second, right? Every second, a tiny, tiny bit is going from you to these other people continuously with no transaction and fully on chain. Now, why is it important for us uh, that our streams happen on chain? Well, you know, we've talked about state channels. We've talked about a bunch of other things for ages. But the truth is, it's extremely hard to build on state channels, right? While it's extremely easy to build DeFi on chain. So what does this look like? Well, if you think of a normal balance, right? Uh, a user has a balance, right? They have some funds in their account. When you go to a smart contract, the basic check it will do is, does this person have enough to do the thing they want to do with my smart contract? And that's the only thing you can check because there's no way on chain in a smart contract to actually check what happened before. There's no on chain record of those transactions. Obviously there is off chain in the logs, but there's nothing the contract can query to see if, uh, this person is receiving funds every month, right? Again, it's a promise that they will receive funds every month, but there's nothing on chain. Now with stream, this changes. You have an on-chain record of all the funds you're receiving in real time. You have an on-chain record of all the funds you're sending in real time. Your smart contract can query this. You have on-chain cash flow data that you can use to build applications that move money in the future, right? Because the stream is not now, a stream is next block. And this is something, again, you could never do before, which is why we really think it's a primitive, right? Because you can now write a smart contract or, as a user, send funds tomorrow. You can send funds in a week, right? Every second from now to then, you will be sending funds. Now, what if people uh, started building with this? Well, again, a lot of stuff, right? We're still early days, but we already have uh, quite a few projects that we're very excited about. Now, streaming exchanges, the first thing people <laughs> decided to build, auctions. Auctions are extremely interesting with streams because instead of being a one-off transfer, you can uh, buy positions over time, right? So people have built continuous Dutch auctions, continuous English auctions, and a continuous Dutch auction actually is a great way to make a streaming ICO, which somebody has already done. You can do streaming airdrops where you transfer money from one account to many over time rather than instantaneously, right? So they can't dump as quickly and maybe you can uh, incentivize them to stay in your community. And of course, vaults, right? We've talked about them before. A smart contract that has money can now also have cash flows. And this, of course, enables a bunch of things, right? You could have uh, your smart contract wallet streaming salaries to all your employees, right? And we have an integration with Notes of Safe and Moloch DAO so that you can do exactly that. And money routers. So money routers are so far, I think, the newest thing we've seen because money routers are smart contracts that don't have a balance. So all they do is receive funds every second and send those funds to someone else every second. So they're like an intermediary with logic to a cash flow, right? And this is actually a very powerful primitive. We think it's uh, original. I don't think you could really do this before. And what it does, again, is move huge amounts of money potentially without ever holding any of it, right? 
it's simply a pass through for your account. And this, I think, I, I find extremely fascinating. Now, what if people uh, use this for? Well, real time finance, right? The idea of building streaming into DeFi, we call real time finance. It's tricky to build this stuff. You have to think not only how much money does my account have, but how much money will it have in 10 minutes? How much money will it have in an hour, right? And it makes things more complicated. I was trying to explain yesterday to someone that calculating variable interest on a cash flow is actually extremely complicated. But I think uh, as more you know, of you maybe come and build with us, we'll be able to build uh, even more um, exciting projects. Now, I'll talk a bit about uh, a few of the projects that have already been built in our ecosystem. So Ricochet is uh, and it's an exchange. Their first product is a DCA, right? You can buy Ether every second. So imagine you're receiving your salary, right? Every second you're getting paid a bit of salary and you decide I'm going to allocate $1,000 from that to buy Ether for me, right? This way it's completely automated. The, the employer does one transaction to pay you and you, will, you do one transaction to the DCA exchange and it buys Ether for you forever without any other interactions on your part. And basically how it works, they have a small intermediary contract. It gets some money and then every 30 minutes it swaps that money on SushiSwap and redistributes all the income to the people streaming. It's already working. Um, eventually, they realized if they removed SushiSwap, it was a streaming ICO. So now they're doing that as well, right? So you can really start experimenting here. And I think these guys are onto something. They're very early days, but uh, a very exciting crowd. So what else? Well, Stream, uh, Drip, sorry, Drip. Drip is a very interesting product. So what these guys did is they're building a checkout, right? You want to accept subscriptions as a company, you want to accept subscriptions, you want to get paid every second for a service you're providing, but you want to access uh, affiliate marketing, right? So I refer you to a business, you start paying them, and I receive 10% of that stream, right? So what's happening is effectively every second, I'm taking a tiny portion of that stream and uh, getting paid for it. But that, that they didn't stop there. They decided this affiliate cash flow Right, is a very interesting thing. I can put a link on the internet and start accruing money. Now, what if that cash flow itself was tokenized? So what they do is they issue NFTs for the affiliate cash flow. And these NFTs can be sold on any uh, NFT market, meaning that whoever buys them becomes the owner of those future cash flow. So you can buy an NFT and you start receiving money for the affiliate marketing someone else did, right? And this is uh, basically cash flow securitization. I think it's extremely exciting because this is just one application, right? If you can package and slice and dice cash flows in your application, you can build all sorts of cash flow based finance, which is something we've never been able to do on chain because again, we don't have all those transactions in the contracts, right? We simply have the balance, which doesn't give us any historical information and any future information. So yeah, I'm very excited about them as well. You know, they have a growing community as well, so check them out. Createn. So Createn is a great project. It's uh, trying to be a web free Patreon. Here you stream to your creators and in exchange get access to a private feed of content, right? Again, very simple concept, but you really couldn't do this before without some sort of uh, recurring payment from the user, which is Terrible UX. In this case, as a, as a user, you go to their application, send one stream, get access to the content, and then when you're done, close that stream and that's it, right? They take the cut of this and they allow the artist to send some funds in a stream back to the user, right? All of this, everything you see in the slide happens in one transaction, which means again, a great user experience. Now, what can you do with this? Well, two things. One is build, right? I mean, I think I've met so many amazing builders here. I would really like all of you to come to Superfluid, come to our Discord, join us, and just build something, right? Again, this is a green field, right? You can build anything new with this primitive. You can think of any existing application you know of, take out transfer, put in stream, and see what happens, right? I don't know what. I don't know what it could be. Like, again, the slide where I do all the examples is very incomplete. We don't know what people will build, which is why it's so exciting for us to build a primitive, right? And the other thing you could do right now, if you're working in Web3, is go to your employer and tell them, 
that they have no excuse to pay you at the end of the month. There is absolutely no reason you should give credit to your employer, and that is exactly what you're doing when you get paid 30 days late. You should get paid every second you work because if you can, it's possible, right? And on top of this, it's actually good for them because they only have to make one transaction on chain to initiate a stream that will keep paying you until you decide to leave, right? It's a good UX for the employer and it's what you deserve as an employee. So if you're working in Web3, go out there, go to your employer and tell them they should pay you every second you work because you deserve it. So yeah, uh, we believe payments shouldn't have friction. We believe that programmable money streaming is an inc incredibly interesting primitive and that whoever manages to build this early on into their products will be able to create a new generation of financial products. And they are by definition a new generation because they're built on a new primitive. Thanks a lot and follow us on Twitter and see you all around. We have t-shirts.